Hi, this is Krishnikan Mane welcoming you to this tutorial on Orca. You will need to go through the tutorial on Internet Basics as a prerequisite for this tutorial. This time, we are going to look at how Orca assists in navigating a web page and reading it in a meaningful way. Before we go ahead, let me introduce you to the reader of this tutorial. With me is Ankita Shanbag, who will be reading the script while I will be performing the activities on the desktop. So, over to Ankita. Hi, this is Ankita. A well-designed web page is generally divided into sections. In a web page, these are referred to as headings. There are six levels of headings starting from one. This implies that the main headings have higher number than their subheadings or subsections. For example, heading of chapter in a book is at higher level than its sections or subsections. We will be looking at how Orca helps us to browse through this hierarchy of headings. For demonstrating this navigation mechanism, we will be using the Vnux user manual which is a very handy tool for beginners with Orca. This manual is a web page and opens offline in the Firefox web browser. To open this manual, press the key combination Ctrl plus Alt plus Q like this. Firefox application quick start not HTML Mozilla Firefox frame. Finished loading quick start not HTML. As you can hear, Orca informs us that the Venus quick start manual is open in Mozilla Firefox. And hey, as a side effect, you will also get to know what is present in this user manual. This will often be useful when you are learning Vnux. If you remember from the tutorial on surfing the internet, you will recall that pressing the tab key moves the focus from one link to the next, while shift plus tab will move it in the reverse direction. So let's press tab and find what Orca announces. Tab. Vnux Quick Start Guide 3.1. Link. As you can hear, Orca tells us that this is Vnux Quick Start Manual. By now, you will be quite familiar with the read all command. So if you recall, it's numpad plus on the desktop and caps lock plus semicolon on the laptop. So let's use the read all command to know what is there in this manual. Vnux Quick Start Guide 3.1 Link Heading Level 1 you can tab through the contents links below to navigate this document and press enter to jump to the relevant sections. If you are using Firefox you can also can use H and Shift plus H to move to the next slash previous heading and 1, 2, 3 or Shift plus 1, 2, 3 to move to the next slash previous level 1, 2 or 3 headings. There you are. The makers of this manual have smartly put information on navigating this manual which is actually a web page. We already know that by pressing the letter H, we can move to next heading. Shift plus H similarly moves us to previous heading. But as you just heard, Orca told us about two sets of new commands, that is pressing 1, 2, 3 would move us to the next heading level 1, 2 or 3. Similarly, using Shift plus 1, 2 and 3 moves us in the reverse direction for the respective heading level. In most cases, the main title of the manual is made at heading level 1. Sections are mostly at heading level 2 and subsections inside those chapters at heading level 3. So let's see whether this structure has also been used in this manual. Let's start searching for the sections in this manual. Press number 2 since it is that key used by Orca to take us to the next heading level 2. Section 1 Trying the Vinux Live CD slash DVD link heading level 2. There you are. Orca tells us that we are on the section 1. It also reads the level of the heading along with its title. Naturally, the subsection under this should be at level 3. So let's press the number 3 on the keyboard to see if that works. Downloading the Vinux ISO file link heading level 3. As we can hear, Orca indeed tells us there is a topic at heading level 3. You can at any point of time use the read all command to read from the current selected heading. 1. Downloading the Vinux ISO file. Link heading level 3. 
Visit the downloads page at the main Linux project website at httpvinux.org.uk slash downloads to find a list of available versions and download mirrors. Okay, let's try pressing the combination Shift plus 2 and see if we can move back to the starting of the section. Section 1. Trying the Linux Live CD slash DVD link heading level 2. That's it. We are back at section 1. As if this was not enough to amaze you with the power Orca has for assisting on the internet, let me show you another exciting feature of Firefox accessibility. We can get the list of all the links on this page in the form of a drop down. Let's try it right away. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus L to bring up the link list dialog like this. If there are lot of links on this page, Orca might take a while to read the list. Links list choose an item from the list and press OK. Now let's use the down arrow and browse the list of links available. Section 1. Trying the Linux Live CD slash DVD. Downloading the Linux ISO file. Checking the MD5 sum on an ISO file. You can hit enter on any of this link to activate it. Besides, you can filter this list. This is very useful if we want to search a particular link with a certain keyword. For example, I might be interested to look at information related to solving problems. This is often referred to as troubleshooting. Let's press tab to go to the edit box labeled filtered by. Tab filtered by text. Now let's type trouble and press shift plus tab to come back to the list. T R O U B L E Trouble Links list troubleshooting boot problems. There it is. You can already hear Orca reading the first link in the list. You can observe that it contains the word trouble as in troubleshooting. Press the down arrow again to browse the list. Troubleshooting sound problems. Troubleshooting video problems. Now as you can hear, the only links available in this list are those having the word trouble in them. You can hit enter on any of these links to activate it. But that is pretty obvious and you already learnt it in the tutorial on internet basics. There is another approach to accessing links. With the current link selected, press the tab key twice to locate the move to link button like this. Tab. Filtered by text trouble selected. Tab. Move to link button. Hitting enter on this button will move the focus to this link and close the dialog. Return. Quickstart.html Mozilla. There you are. The dialog has closed and we have directly jumped to the section relevant to activated link. Now you can read the information around this link or press enter to activate the link. 8. Connecting to a wireless network link. 7. Troubleshooting video problems link. Isn't this a powerful feature? I guess by now you are interested to surf more on the internet. So I'll take a leave for this tutorial. Till we meet next time, this is Ankita and Krishnikan saying goodbye and, and happy surfing. surfing.